Hi, welcome back to Good Island TV. I'm your host Stuart Young. I'm actually joined now by Andy McIver. Andy, welcome to Good Island TV. Andy, you're taking over as offensive coordinator for the Edinburgh Wheels. What made you do that? Um, well, I've been coaching now since would have been 2007, since uh, with the Stirling Clansmen, and since I started coaching, I've loved it, and, and that's why part of the reason I've stopped playing is to take up coaching on a permanent basis. Um, started off in defence, I've primarily played defence my, my whole playing career. Um, but over the last couple of years, developed a real passion for offence. Andy, you know what it's like to be around the wheels, you've played for them for long enough, you, you know the passion, what's involved in the goals and what's expected is a minimum, obviously. Don's big motto this year, bowls a goal. You bought into that? Yeah, well, I mean, I think first and foremost is we've got enough talent on the team right now before we bring in anyone we recruit. So, to me, looking at the teams around us, I think it's, it's not an unreal goal. You know, we've, we've proved two years ago that we're good enough to win the division. And obviously this year, with, as you say, the coaches have added, if we can get back to the playoffs, then, then I've no doubt that we can make it all the way to the championship game and any given Sunday, you know, win it all. I mean, obviously yourself, you've mentioned you've coached the Klansmen since 2007. You've got a lot of experience. I mean, the Klansmen are doing fantastically well in the college league just now. I believe I'm beaten from... No. Are they not Gla beaten? Glasgow put pay to that. Glasgow beat the day. Three and one. You, you have been doing very well, though, in regards to the season. I mean, yeah. what, I've, what I've heard, I mean, some very, very good noises coming from, from Klansmen. Mm -hmm. What kind of things are you going to bring from there to, to the end of the rules? Um, well, like the, the other guys said, I mean, we put a lot of emphasis on fundamentals. You know, teaching from the ground up. You know, it's there's, there's a phrase in coaching: it's not what you know, it's what they know. You know, so at the end of the day, you can put in the most complex schemes and you know, passing routes and, and blitzes, or whatever you want. But at the end of the day, if, if you don't have players that can go out and execute it, then all that's going to happen is you're just, just going to lose year after year. So, but one of the things we did at the Clansmen is we had a five-year plan. You know, and every year we've been getting better and better we've been recruiting, which is one of the things that we've put a massive emphasis on mm -hmm. the Sterling is recruiting. Mm -hmm. And I know it's something um, that's also been a big emphasis here at Edinburgh. Um, so hopefully, yeah, just, just bring those things and, and obviously, hopefully they can make the thing for the team better. You mentioned yourself, you've, you've given up playing. Is there not going to be that itch to throw on the shoulder pads and the helmet again for one more season? I mean, there, all, there always is, of course. I mean, especially when, when the games start, you know. Um, and we, we play against Glasgow. <laughs> there will be an urge to play, but yeah. like I said, I mean, I've developed a real passion for coaching over the last few years, and you know, I know the, a couple of the other guys that are coaching might be playing, but you know, I'm definitely not going to be. Definitely not. I mean, I just spoke to you at AGM briefly, and you said obviously you're quite involved in going to a lot of coaching classes mm -hmm. and things like that. I mean, so is this going to be your drive now going forward? You're going to basically just try and get that transition to maybe one day becoming head coach. Yeah. Team. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, as I say, I'm actually going over to, to San Antonio in January for a big coaching clinic. It's an organisation called AFCA. Um, they, yeah, they do a convention every year in America, and it's in San Antonio this year. It's about a week long. You get top coaches from all over the country coming and doing talks and buzz sessions and demonstrations. And last year we had, they had uh, Les Miles there, mm -hmm. who head coach of Louisiana State, who are currently the number one team in America. And you know, obviously, learning from guys like that, I mean, it's just invaluable experience. I mean, you mentioned going to America and doing it. I mean, America came over to us mm -hmm. to do it as well with the FBU. I mean, yeah. you've been involved with the FBU. Yeah, I mean, Sterling, how's, how's that coming along? I mean, Sterling was where we did the, the first Scottish FBU clinic, you know, that uh, one day clinic where we brought NFL coaches over and they did, a, they did an evening with a lot of players from around the country. And I think the popularity of that along with the drive of, of coaches in this country to get them over to the clinic it has resulted in them doing the first British FBU clinic which is I believe next April um, and again that's there's going to be I believe I think it's 10 to 12 NFL coaches ex-NFL coaches that are going to be doing a week-long clinic for not only players but coaches as well and I mean get something of that stature in this country can only Benefit players and coaches only. Well, it's, it's fantastic. I mean, it's not about be benefiting obviously players and coaches, it's about benefiting the rules yeah. at the end of the day. I mean, you have gone away to America, 
bettering yourself, obviously, and also doing the FPU stuff, bettering yourself, getting more experience. You talk about buzz sessions, mm -hmm. getting guys from the Louisiana State, you said, yeah, yeah you know, guys like that coming in, you know, bringing that to the Edinburgh Wolves, I mean, surely it's got to rub off on the players. Well, I mean, you, you learn from the best, and I mean, everything in football, from schemes, from coaching styles to playing styles, it's not new. I mean, how many teams run shotgun offense, how many teams run 4 3 defense, essentially. What you do in football is, is you copy what's come before you. And I mean, learning from the best and using that knowledge on your own teams can only benefit us because ultimately there's a reason why people like Blaise Miles and Nick Saban, who was there the year before, are where they are. And that's because, you know, they have certain styles and, and they believe in certain things which will get them to the top. I mean, I spoke to Coach Edmondson, um, also we spoke about injuries there, but also the thing we really highly, very positive of, the team's getting younger. I mean, I, I played for a few years myself, and um, I've been around the team long enough to understand that a lot of the older guys that have lost a bit of experience, like Campbell Lewis, Alan Price, um, the, the, the last season as well, just through retirement for various reasons. A lot of young kids in the team, the future's looking good for the goals, isn't it? It is, it is, you know, and ultimately, if we want the sport to grow in this country, we can't just keep relying on, on the same people year in, year out. You know, we have to develop people from a young age. You know, we've, we've got a great junior set-up in run. I know several uh, other clubs throughout the country have great junior and youth set-ups. And ultimately, year on, year out, as I say, the team is going to build through youth. You know, people are going to retire, people are going to get old, people are going to, you know, move, it, move into coaching. And it's going to be the young players that move through it and again that comes back to teaching fundamentals you know you're going to get young players coming in that maybe are naturally athletic talent have a desire to play football but they need to be taught how to play it properly and that's what you know bringing in experienced coaches such as Dennis and uh, Ben will, will not will help to do to help to build the game and build, obviously, in rules and from the surface, which is Well, Andy, thanks very much for joining us. I wish you all the best for your up-and-coming season. I don't know around to, to see you coaching. So, good luck. Cheers. Well, it seems like very exciting times coming up for the Embraer Wolves. If you wish to get involved with the Embraer Wolves, you can visit www.embraerwolves.com. But should you wish to get involved in your local team throughout the whole of the UK, you can visit www.bafa.org. There's teams all the way from the south of England to the north of Scotland. Get involved on, off the pitch. Let's make British football better for next year. You've been watching Good Dan TV. I'm your host, Stuart Young. We'll be back again in the next year. Um, so I'd like to wish all of yours a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And we'll see you all in 2012.